High clock. High's wife, Joan Wallace, could not be here today, but I'd like to welcome former Senator Elliot Work, a close family friend to the gallery, as we remember and honor High. I'd also like to thank Joan for lending me one of High's favorite Jerry Garcia ties for today's ceremony. I'm honored to stand before you today to deliver this memorial for High Clock, a personal friend with many admirable attributes. I'm also humbled to have the privilege of sitting in High Clock's chair on the floor of this chamber. But before I begin, I must point out one of High's failures. After I was first elected, uh, High gave me this advice, six words. I asked him what he meant. He said, you only get to say six words from the floor of the house during your first year. Clearly, he failed as a mentor. <laughs> or maybe the problem was the student. Hyman Clock, <clears throat> known to all as High, died on December 6, 2022. The name Hyman is derived from a Hebrew word for life, and it was not given to, he was not given this name by chance. High was born in Essen, Germany, in one of the over 300 DP camps 75 years ago, shortly after the end of World War II. DP stands for displaced persons. His parents escaped as the Nazi army advanced into Poland, but they were separated and left homeless by the war. Nearly all of the members of his mother's and father's family were exterminated in the Holocaust. His aunts, his uncles, his cousins, and a sister he never knew. How High's father found his mother in Siberia after the war and walked from Siberia to the DP camp in Germany is a story unto itself. High and his parents spent three years in the DP camp before making their way to America. They were refugees welcomed by a country proud to be the world's beacon of hope and freedom for those less fortunate. He was given the name Hyman, life, against an unimaginable, horrible backdrop of death. High Clock was a liberal, not the political pejorative. He was a liberal as defined by Webster's Dictionary, one who was open-minded, tolerant, not bound by authoritarianism or orthodoxy. High practiced liberalism, which is also defined as Webster by Webster as a political philosophy based on belief in progress, the essence, the essential goodness of man, the autonomy of the individual and standing for the protection of political and civil liberties. <clears throat> These values were the essence of High's being it was how he interacted with the world around him. High Clock embraced diversity. He grew up in Brooklyn, New York, in the shadow of the Statue of Liberty. The bluest of blue-collar cities at the time was the epitome of the American melting pot. It was here that High developed an appreciation for people from different cultures and backgrounds. The roots of his lifelong love for jazz, perhaps the ultimate musical expression of diversity and freedom, can be found in these formative years. <clears throat> High was later to invent the gato drum, inspired by percussion instruments from several cultures. His gato drum is on display in the musical instrument collection at the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. High Clock was a public servant High and Joan came to Boise over 20 years ago when he was hired to be the development director at Boise State Public Radio. He immediately engaged with the local community and soon served on several boards, including the Idaho Humane Society, and he was an avid supporter of the Gene Harris Jazz Festival. High served in the Idaho legislature from 2012 until he retired in 2018. He was also elected to the Greater Boise Auditorium District Board of Directors in 2011 and served on that board until his death. <clears throat> As a director, he oversaw the highly successful expansion of the Boise Convention Center, bo called Boise Center East, a public facility that has hosted nearly everyone in this room. Anyone who met and worked with High liked him. 
You could talk with him. He never talked at you. And above all, he was a good listener, always respecting the opinions of others while seeking common ground. High often summed up his thoughts on public service by saying, if you don't get involved, you can't complain. High was a humanitarian. His respect for others can be summed up by his belief that every person has value. He was a champion of the marginalized and diminished, people who are often ignored, looked down upon, or taken for granted. And his humanitarianism was not limited to mortal man. His work with the Humane Society was extensive. He and Joan walked the talk, walked the talk, having adopted over 10 shelter dogs while living in Idaho. His work culminated in the creation of the very successful pet-friendly specialty license plate. While most of us in this chamber will ultimately be remembered by a picture in a class photo hanging on a wall in the garden level, people can remember high every time they see a car with a pet-friendly license plate on every road in Idaho for years to come. I was born in the aftermath of an era defined by real, unspeakable hate. He served Idaho with a kind, caring, as a kind, caring, friendly gentleman who will be remembered as an Idahoan who was too great for hate. To Hyman Clock, to life, Lahayim. That's six words high.